Hello YouTubers. Uh, appreciate you joining me this morning. Um, if you watch my, my videos on, on how to make a handle for a crook knife, then you know what this one's about. This one's ab about how a crook knife is used and uh, what are they made for. So this is the crook knife. This is the handle that we just made. Uh, you can watch that on YouTube as well. I just uploaded it. Same day, same place. Anyway, we're going to take this and we're going to make a spoon out of it. There's a spoon in there. We're just going to remove everything that ain't a spoon. So stick with me. Oh, uh, while I was out grabbing that, wild garlic. We're going to take that back to the house cook it up there's quite a bit out here so it's gonna be my dinner or added to my dinner anyway so let me uh let me reposition the camera here and uh we'll get started okay yeah, just Kind of remove the bark. This is a uh, winged elm, by the way. If you wonder what type of wood this is, so it's it's pretty dense wood. If you've ever tried to cut elm, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. They used to use the old timers. They'd use elm for uh, wedges. Just kind of give you an idea of how hard elm is. Made for bows. And... But uh, as you can see, the way I'm using this, you can use it just like a knife. Basically what you have is you have a chisel, a chisel grind. It's just sharpened on one side down to zero so that means it just it just bites it just devours the wood A lot of the um, long hunters would take these, especially up in the north. This uh, the crook knife originated up in Canada. I uh, forget the name of the Indian tribe, but uh, the Indians up there had created the knife to the crook knife to to make canoes. That's how uh, their tool of choice to make canoes. They could go out in the bush with just one of these and an axe. Of course, a belt knife, and come back in a canoe. Granted, it's a few weeks later, but it's a very versatile tool. You could actually use it as a draw knife. See how it. Just, it just planes of wood and gives you a, a flat, how flat that is. Then you can use this portion here, not only to make spoons with, but you can also round off corners. See how it, it rounds off in corners? Ray Mears on one of his demonstrations of a crook knife, he said it was a, a toolbox all in one tool. And, and uh, I don't think I'd argue with Ray Mears. But anyway, 
Let me uh, see if I can find my my knocking stick. Had to get some. Here it is. Yeah, we can split this thing the way we need it. Again, using my personal bushcraft knife, WC knives. If you ain't got one, need to get you one. If you got one, need to get another one. Now we're not going for pretty, we're going for functionality, so don't laugh at my spoon, folks. Now a lot of times what they use these crook knives on is cedar, which is a whole lot softer than this. But The way it's going through this very dense seasoned wood kind of gives you an idea how how well these things carve. As I was saying earlier, a lot of the 18th century long hunters, once they got a hold of one of these things, they used them for just about all the camp chores and save their belt knife for for preparing meat and skinning and things like that so that they didn't use up their edge. And they would use these for feather sticks and just to kind of show you what kind of feather sticks they make. just a very very useful tool you just kind of round off the corner there at all. See, I think I got a knot there, so <coughs> better start. Never carve toward yourself unless you know where that blade's going to end up. All right, so let's see if we can't get the bowl in there. And you may say, well, what's the difference between a crook knife and a spoon knife? Well, a crook knife 
has this flat area here. And that's for using it like a plane, like I was showing you. Or you use it like a draw knife, but planes would. And actually, you can use it as a knife. Remember the feather sticks. It's also longer, so it'll do bowls. Uh, it's very difficult to use a spoon knife for a bowl. And again, when you're doing this, your thumb, this thumb is always underneath that, so if that blade slips, it's not going to hit your thumb. If you didn't watch the uh, the other video about me making this this handle, um, I made this blade uh, yesterday. Made two of them, matter of fact. One of them on the list on eBay. Uh, do a little bit better handle for it. This one was just kind of showing you how they're done in the field, how versatile, versatile the knife is. So there's the bowl. Maybe you can see it in the sunlight. We'll tidy it up a little bit later. 